this video will trigger you and make you incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, the summation of summation... Oh, goodness. I'm gonna do the correct LaTeX either in the document or on the screen. Uh, please leave a gap. No, put the X in between the integral and the DX and put in a plus C for crying out loud. Um, no, E is a constant. Do not use that as a variable even if it's technically correct. Um, uh, e equals to pi equals to 3. Horrible LaTeX here. Gosh. Horrible quality and rendering and it's not even the correct inequality, I think. I squared equals negative 1. Wrong. No, no. Uh, you don't just square root each term and add them up. You extend the entire line. Um, horrible LaTeX. Horrible, horrible LaTeX. Horrible. Um, no, I mean... Gosh, that's just pi and e's and j should be i and... You put the x down there, not in top, up top. Why would you use j? Arrgh. No, horrible. You don't integrate d with respect to d. Again, pi equals to e equals to 3, I get it, fine. The denominator shouldn't be that long, and you should centralize the thing. What on earth is F1? F1 is just basically the zero field, right? Um, finish the N. Wrong integration! This is integration by parts, not the integral of a product is not the product of the integrals. Okay. Give me a moment. That was... That was painful to watch. This video will give you terminal uncomfortability and make you go cursed. No, F equals to M, A. No. Oh, differentiation. Differentiability implies continuity. What? Nine dots because you differentiate with respect to time nine times. Put the F outside. It's F of X, not X of F. Even if functional analysis works that way. Put the set as the small, as the capital letter, not the small letter. Use in, not euro. And don't use Calibri. Why will you do this triangle? Why? Why? Comic sense and absolute value of x is always non-negative, not less than zero. This is the integral of zero to t, not the transpose. <laughs> uh, no! No! Use n for natural numbers, not z. This is... Vector, vector as column vector, which is the co binary coefficient. What's with this trapezium? Epsilons and the deltas. Do it the other way. Epsilons then deltas. Uh, differentiate once with respect to t. You put an extra dot. That was toxic. Uh, dummy variables and outer variables. Goodness, don't use infinity this way. Please don't use infinity this way. Please don't do it. Yeah, pi equals 3, fine, I get it. Engineering, fundamental of engineering. Fine, whatever. Uh, put the F in the G, not the other way. Uh, no, that was bad. The, the definition of derivative. Uh, use X and the N, swap them up. Why would you do that? Why? Oh my gosh. This cursed video will raise your uncomfortability levels by burr percentage. Uh, use function, no, use cosine prime, don't use cosine. Uh, uh, text h as delta h in the definition of derivative. This is not obvious, goodness. Just use the equal symbol. Uh, Please use zero. This is the sign of the empty set. It does not make any sense. Don't use epsilon. Use in and use a small d as well. Don't use letters for angles. Use the Greek letters for angles and the other letters for the sides. This is a horrible combination. Um, put the x on the horizontal, please. Uh, this is Taylor expansion with so many things wrong in that expression. Times, 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 times. 
the trace of the transpose of A is the transpose of the trace of A. It's technically true if you regard them as matrices and whatnot. 24 primes, wow, that's horrible. Um, this is the empty set. There are no numbers that are strictly more than and less than 1 at the same time. Epsilon should be bigger than 0 and please later it properly. Don't use 1 as a variable and you're using Cambria, it's horrible. Although the final answer is technically correct. Put the A's on the bottom, the B's on the top, then define it accordingly. This is your Riemann hypothesis. We think it's true, it's not, we don't know. Don't comic sense. This is bad, bad typesetting here. Don't use 8 as a, as a variable. Don't use Greek letters for sides. Use Greek letters for angles. No, these are not equivalent. That's the inverse error. Oh, triple prime to the cube. Oh, uh, no. You don't transpose a, ma a matrix by just flipping the letter. This math video is so cursed, it'll make you question your eternal virginity. <sighs> e equals mc squared. Why did you butcher that? If someone can explain what's going on here, I have no idea what that symbol means. You need to get one respect to C, you get C, not two C. No! No, these two matrices are totally different. Finish! Complete the bra- Complete the brackets. Wrong, 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 unless you're working in an FP, right? But otherwise wrong in the usual context. Don't put the arrows that long. Uh, bad product rule right there. Just don't use Greek letters for sides. Use use Latin Roman letters for that. I don't know, whatever Latin. Pi is equal to the integral of 0 to pi. That's like actually correct. But please put the f of x inside the integral. Please, not outside. This is cosecant of x. It is not the same as arcsine of x. For goodness sake, those are not the same thing. e to the i pi plus 1, which is negative i squared. Technically correct. Why would you do that? Why? Tangent times arc tangent is not equal to 1. There are irrational numbers. At least we can show that root 2 is 1. That's not empty. This is technically correct, but you don't cancel that way. Um, bad drawing. Bad drawing. Bad drawing. Such bad drawing. I do not know how to react to it. But there's lots of differentiations and if you want to check those out, click on the video here.